because I'm a skinhead. <laughs> I said I cut my head off, hair off because I'm a skinhead. My hair was damaged. Because you've been dying it. Yeah, I've been dying it and bleaching it. Well, don't do it no more. I can't. Why? Say what the good Lord gives you and be satisfied. I am not religious. Oh, I'm not either. But if they wanted it to be another color, it would have been another color. But we have the opportunity to dye our hair. No, he's. Do your dogs know any tricks? Huh? Do your dogs know any tricks? Yeah, they know how to eat. They know how to be mean as hell. Could they rip someone's arm off? No. So they're not like guard dogs? No. How are you, Phelan? That's a nice belt you have. The buckle? Yeah. I made that. My brother made it. You made it out of what? Yeah. No, that's stainless steel. Uh -huh. Don't cut your hair off. Anymore. I'm not. That's why you I cut it off. That, when you got all these big earrings in because I like them. Yes, okay. I'm gonna take these out though. You know, if you got hit or fail with those in there. I know, I take them out during, like I have a basketball game to do, so I take them out. You dang right take them out. I don't, yeah, it would hurt. I've been hit before, it hurts. It's gotten stuck in someone's hair. Yeah, but you know who shaved my head? The idiot, Dad, we're gonna shoot him. <laughs> You gonna borrow my gun? Yeah. <laughs> you pretty lady, don't do the hat that way no more. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm growing it out. It's actually grown pretty fast. It will. It's soft feel. I know it is. It's fine. This is my natural hair care. It's my hair, my hair is fine. You won't feel some soft hair. Yeah, your hair's soft. It's just fine, man. It's that's a, ready to have to comb it. That's ready. It's a pretty but, color. But just don't. I'm be a beautiful lady that you are. I know. And pick your boyfriend wisely. I got a good boyfriend. If have you have I what? Well just here we go. Yeah, these are my two babies. And I got a cat somewhere. You have a cat? Look. I didn't know you had a cat. Yeah, the cat's down there. She usually walks with them. I didn't, I just didn't hear it to the cat. I didn't want one. I guess I just inherited it. Remember that one time you told me about your human ear necklace? Yeah, I still got it. It's still put up. Oh, it's put up. Is it preserved? Human skin is, is, is very good leather. Uh-huh. I know. They make books out of it sometimes. There, if you, you get on the computer much, no, I don't get on the Okay, there's a there's a house in Germany. Yeah, no, no, all the furniture and their lampshades and everything's covered with human skin. Oh, those that's because they're cannibals. No, that was done. You had a German high-ranking officer in the, in Germany that liked tattoos, but he didn't want them, so everything in his house is covered. With Tattoos. Oh, okay. Is he allowed to? Oh, sorry. Is he allowed to? Have well, I guess he's a high-ranking officer, and then when they found his house, I mean, they just—it's, you know, I mean, I don't understand why people do some things they do. Because of messed up in the head. But the reason I done that, I lost so many friends, and I was getting even. Yeah. There was a hundred and eighty-eight of us went over, there and eight of us came home. So. I mean, our unit fought all the time. Wait, they're your friend's ears? No. Or like no. your enemy's ears? My enemy's, hey. No, my friend, that's the reason. Kind of messed me up over there a little bit. I bet. So, yeah, I mean, you together all the time, and then the next thing you know, you come. But it shows you that no matter what you do, your life can end in a blink of an eye. I guess I did something right. Where's my little one? Gotta live life to the fullest. Well, I don't. I just, my puppy is just what I do, and this is our bastard right here. <laughs> so, 
let him borrow over ten thousand dollars worth of tools and I asked him for them back. He said he didn't have them. That guy? The, the neighbor? They call a lot of tools all the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my friend's grandpa, I don't know what's up with him, but he he was friends with this guy and he's like, oh yeah, I'll give you chickens and like cows. And so he pays for them, but he never gets them. He's a smart man, but he keeps paying for this stuff and he never gets them. No, I thought I was helping him out. He started business and I allowed him to go a bunch of uh, tools to do it with. And so he, he used you, it. in a way? Yeah. But anyway. How disrespectful. Huh? How disrespectful. Do what? That was disrespectful of him. Yeah, I, I, I base a man on his word. If his word ain't no good, he's a sorry piece of shit. <laughs> That's just me. I mean, I'm giving you my opinion. Yeah, I like to hunt and I like to fish. And that's about it. What grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. Okay. So what, much are you going to college? I don't know yet. I don't have any money. And I don't want to do a loan thing because that's stressful. Oh man, I'm going to have to pay Phillips back. I know that. So but, I'm uh, probably you know, you can go on scholarships. I don't know what I could. I probably might get one for art. Well, what kind of grades you making? I'm not making that good of grades. Why? School is really hard now. The standards are really high. I gotta get rid of my teeth. Anyway, these four years of your life is gonna make the rest of your life. I know. But if I don't pass this year. You ain't failed a grade, have you? No, I haven't failed a grade. Well, I have. You know, I mean, in high, but I didn't in high school. Hell, I, I did. I don't read and spell real good. I'm not good at math. Oh, I can take you all the way to back. You don't even know what I was talking about, do you? No. I have an idea, though. It's. Okay. Line. This angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, this. Yeah. All know. different angles and everything. I mean, it's. Calculus ain't shit. I can do that. Like, with my eyes closed just about and stuff like that. And it's just math. I've never had no problem. That's good. I'm good at art. You draw good? Yeah, I draw really well. But it's hard to make a living being an artist. So you I think know, I, I wish I knew it. that. The other night, day, they had a beautiful, you fold it open and what nothing but all kind of art stuff in it. You don't use stuff like that, do you? What? Oh. Huh? What are you talking about? It's like a thing, an art thing. It was big and it, it opened up. Okay, this side opened up and this side swung around. It wasn't nothing but pain and pencils. And oh, I have one of those. Yeah, you know, well, I could have got one the other day for $13 at the auction sale. But I didn't know, know anybody that draws. I draw. I want to be a tattoo artist. Not a bad living. It, just don't get them on you. I don't really want a lot, but I say that now. But a lot of people, uh, tattoos are expensive. And if I could get in like two a day, I can make $600 or so. I know a lady that's tattooed from one end to the other. Oh, yeah, you told me, and you can't tell if she has a shirt on or not. Yes. She has a condition, like she can't stay out in the sun. So she covers her body up in tattoos. So that way it don't bother her as bad. Really? She has a skin disease, yes. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I've seen, I got some friends that have, but I don't have no tattoos. Not even a and you need to put on a little weight. I'm skinny like my dad. Can't gain weight. This right here? This is actually a lot of weight for me. Oh, no, no. you you got yeah, a this big, like, flat stomach. I know. That's the as much weight as I can gain. I'm just a string bean. That's all right. For yourself. I, that's all you do. I used to, I got a, I got a little well-built like you, but I can't let those still stand up straight. 
and old. She was shorter than you about like that. Mm -hmm. I ain't ever seen nobody could eat so much in my life. And I asked her one day, I said, where in the hell did you put all that? We'd go out and order a big steak and she'd eat it and then eat part of mine. <laughs> I used to ask her, I said, where do you eat put all that? I'm, I'm bigger now than I've ever been in my life. You're not that big. Yeah, I am too. No, you're not. I think someone is considered fat or obese when they can't get out of bed or fit through the doorway. Oh man, I used to. I used to, until I got all broken up, I used to work out. And uh, I started, I started getting hurt when I had my knee go up in college. You play sports? I play football for Florida State. I like two games playing two seasons. Wow. But I ran a 10 flat hundred. Wow. Yeah, I was five. But, uh, you know, I, them big. I thought to being fast, I don't know anyone who can do that. Ain't many people can. I mean, I was <laughs> fast. There was one big nigger called Big Red. We all call him Big Red. I always. What about Big Black? Sorry. No, he was <laughs> more of a red nigger. Oh. And uh, I've known him all my life. And even when I was a kid, and uh, we went down to Atlanta for the state tournament. And he done beat me. I mean, I'd always come in second. And when we come out of the blocks, you know what the blocks are. You know what's the track thing? Yeah. You know, you get the things you put your feet in. Oh, yeah. But really, when we come out of the blocks, he stumbled just a little bit. Oh. And I beat him. And he just, and when, when I finished, he just grabbed me up. Damn, little boy, man, you finally beat me. <laughs> I said, you had a little trouble coming out of the blocks, didn't you? And I, <laughs> he just said, yeah. And I mean, that was all I was ever said. But I played football with him and everything. That's awesome. But yeah. he, he played pro ball. I never did. I couldn't make it. <laughs> anyway, you be careful. You too. And you're pretty late. Thank you, Taylor. Hey, yes. just because a lady's got beautiful skin and looks good, don't make her late. Yeah. I was, I dated a girl that could make the centerfold of any magazine. Stayed with, lived with her. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> she's a bitch. And I, I, she had a house and she had a big old, like a cloth in the lit, in the den, you know, put coats and stuff. And I yeah. put a chair in there. And she really got the bitch if I put her in the closet. <laughs> really? You lock her in there? I'd put her. And one day, her daddy, they lived on one side of the lake and we lived on another side of the lake. And her daddy come on and she thought she heard him. And boy, she went to beating and kicking the wall. And he said, ah, yeah. He left. And he told me, he said, finally, if you'll marry her, you won't ever have to work a day in your life. <laughs> I told him, hell, I can't put up with her. But she could be the sweetest lady she wanted to, to a bitch. Maybe she's bipolar. That's how a lot of women are. She's full of ass rot. Oh, I know someone like that. Mama, full of her rot. I'll see you later, Phelan. Okay, be careful and study hard. I'm trying. I'm getting extra help. Oh, and math. Yeah, and math. I can't teach you math. I can teach you, but the th your teachers would have a shit fit. They wouldn't have a shit fit if you taught me. No, I taught my son the... Pythagorean theory. Oh yeah, I learned that. And he used it on the end of test. And he get something right? He got them all right, but the teacher both failed him. Why? Because the Pythagorean theory, uh -huh. is some, sometimes you're, the way you work your problems are different. And the teacher didn't told him he couldn't do that. And I went and talked to the teacher and I asked him, I said, why don't why can't he do that? And I looked the teacher straight in the face and I said, because you don't know how I do. And the teacher looked me dead and I said, yep. It's, it's hard to learn, but it's the easiest way to do algebra or trig than there ever was. Yeah, if you can find an easier way to do it, that's the best way to do it. That's the way I told him. And uh, some of the stuff you're taking right now, 
when I was in school, they taught me college. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's really hard. Yes. Yes. But I'm trying. These are my two favorites. Well, I'll see you later. Your dogs seem like they're hot.